So Saturday, 10th of August, Wrong High College, number four ground. The game's probably 20 minutes in. It's an under 55 game. Wellington Cole versus Hibbs. Uh, referees Jacob Oliver with Mike Woods and Jackson Winters, the ARs. Been videoing uh, Gary Morrison's game on another field, which is why I missed the start of this one. But hopefully, some of this can be helpful for you, Jacob. Always handy to look at yourself refereeing, what you think you might be doing versus what you're actually doing. Sometimes it's good to, to pick up that difference. So we've just had a quarter time break been an in-depth discussion about um, your age Jacob and, and what you do whether you're still at college or you work and we only work part-time or whatever uh, and no one knows definitively so we're all gonna have to find out Nice calling of a Varna driver, nice and loud, well done. So you can do that volume of what you just did around your description of the advantage, you can do the same thing when you're doing your penalty decisions. Um, let 30 players know that it was a high tackle and then they've made the decision for the scrum. Let them all know. It all helps them know what's going on and that you've got the game under control. So what's that guy doing there, Jacob? He seems very, very close. That guy in the yellow. Jackson could have been helping you, calling him back five metres. Oh, he's just kicking off now. Oh, 
So one of the issues you got to deal with when you're doing camera work, Jacob, is just these itinerant, itinerant buddy spectators who just get in the middle of the buddy paddock and get in your road. This, this person here, you might know him. He didn't like my abuse, he's off, he's out of here. You're very helpful AR, of course. So when you're reffing all these lower levels, Jacob, a good thing is talking loudly around everything. The more the players can uh, enjoy the game because you are giving them a fair game, they can hear what you're ruling on, they can hear what's going on. Um, so it is a good thing. So don't be shy about over-talking loudly. If players yeah, and he can hear and managers and spectators can hear, it's all got to be a good thing. So thinking about player enjoyment is also a really good aspect of refereeing.
I heard your advantage call there, Jacob, which is great, but you could also say a couple of words around that so that all the players know what you're playing advantage for. So now you see you've played a long way away and maybe you won't come back. Um, and if you had described it briefly at the time, the players can learn from that. They also know that you've picked it up and what that offence was for. So that can be something you can bring into your game next year. So get that arm nice and straight, get it up in the air, blow that whistle loudly. Let every person right around the ground know that it's penalty time. So I should be able to be down that far end, behind those goalposts, with my back turned, and know that it's a penalty just through the tone and loudness of your whistle. Big fun. So I missed a little bit of your game just back there. Uh, Jacob, I was having an um, interesting discussion with a sideline person who was um, being reasonably loud around his comments.
So Jacob, I'm going to um, film this conversion because I'm going to be interested to see where you stand. And I'd be interested to know if where you stand would be the same positioning as you'd stand on every other Saturday when you do not have ARs in place. Um, it'd be interesting to know if there is a difference in your thinking. However, I would, I'm going to say to you, there is no difference whether you've got touch judges, nobody, or you've got ARs. You are never going to be able to make a decision or assist on a decision around the crossbar standing where you are. Where you could be, could have been 15 metres in the field, almost level with the ball, and then as he kicked, run straight towards the goal line so that you get in line with the ball and the goalposts. And then you can always help and make an accurate decision around a ball that's very close to a goalpost. And then you curl towards the goalpost and you're able to make any decision where there's a close crossbar decision. Because one day, you will have both of those kind of decisions to make. And the more that you put yourself into a nice position, the better it is because no one can ever argue with you when you're in those good positions to be able to make decisions. So just, hey, that's a, a more of a sophisticated uh, positioning and, and what to do. Uh, you're a first year referee, so don't take it um, too seriously. But just a thought for next year to have a think about. Go boys! Go Zara! Go boys! Go boys! Sprint Jacob, sprint! <laughs> It's a nice slow secondary signal, Jacob, so well done. Always nice and slow, just gives the appearance that the referee is, uh, is controlled and nice and calm, so looks good.
addresses to Sealand, WRRA, www.org.au. And if you want it. I'll play it with the volume on some of the Yeah, these guys don't normally get any video of themselves. I normally just do the prims and prim two sort of thing. So. Oh, right. Because yeah. there's nothing else on. I come down to date it. Yeah, it look something to look at. Yeah. Looking at yourself on video is quite different from what you often think you do. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Chairman at wrra.org.nz Nice response, Jacob. I won't um, show that to Danny Cameron so he can clip it for everyone else to see. I'll keep it not nice and private. Just this, uh, people who are in this paddock know that one. call there Jacob but make it nice and loud let 30 players know that you're playing on hello I'm Ryder yeah nice backwards nice call too once again nice and loud though nice good work
It's a good rack to go back and have a look at Jacob where you were almost standing looking at me, looking at the camera whereas if you can try and get yourself side on so you're looking up and down the paddock facing the goalposts uh, like you could have been facing that goalpost there it's easy then to just dip, turn your head sideways slightly and you can see all those defending back lines but that's a bit more of a refined positioning but that's always something to work on for next year up, looking up and down the paddock up and down the paddock every time Now that is good management, Jacob. Uh, yes, he, he did a quick tap away from you, but you brought him back, you slowed the game down a bit. They'd already had their one 10 metre advantage. Um, you brought a little bit of control to the game, so well done.
So that is all the surrounds of uh, Rongatai number four. Well done, Jacob. <laughs>